We are here to give praise and thanks to God for Sister Enrica, celebrating 70 years of Canusian religious life. And I think if I read your CV correctly, practically all your life in Singapore. I entered the convent when I was 20, from Milan. I'm from Milan. So why did you decide to be a nun? Because it's not that uh, I choose. The desire to be a nun. The desire to be a Canosian sister. It's not that I choose, I obey. After my profession, I said yes to Jesus' profession. I explained to Mother General, I want to be a missionary. I was not easy, my perseverance. And after, I came to Singapore. When I went on the ship, the big ship, you know, go to the river, no? I cried because my mother said, I don't see you anymore. Mother Bakita, and so she came to, to my place, very near Milano. I went there, I touched her. Jesus is my savior, my lover. I love Jesus. And when I go to the chapel, sometimes I'm alone. I say, Jesus, and we face him. So I talk to him. She's lively, generous, and very courteous with the children and everyone. I stand with that. He's me a picture of Peter's when I was younger, and I still have it till now. She used to greet me every single morning, and sometimes she would bless me in the morning. But because she greets me every day, it makes me much happier, and it helps me get through the school week. In my apostolate, that was in the prison. I've been there so many years in the prison. It's not easy. More than 20 years I went. But uh, now uh, I plan to go back again. I pray be able to carry on with uh, my apostle. This is the kind of love, the kind of charity that the Canusian sisters live up to. 60, 70 years of religious profession, you will have touched many, many lives. 